The 2x1, known as one of the best databases because of its cheap cost and practicality, and I fully agree with that. And that's why I decided to create a Solos Heaven of a base which uses the simple 2x1 as a starter, and expands to a spacious but very strong and de defendable solo or duo base. And I call this base the space and in this video i'm going to be showing you exactly how to build this strong and cheap solo base design okay so to start off build a simple 2x1 with an airlock place your tool cupboard in this corner over here and do your box placement just like this I like to add a simple shelf in here because it gives a lot more box storage. You can fit another three small boxes after you've placed the garage door down here. Just like this and you can even fit another one on top of here. Your workbench goes over in this corner and I like to place a repair bench along with two uh, small boxes beneath it. Of course place as many sleeping bags as needed and now the 2x1 is pretty much finished. To move on place two low triangle foundations and surround them with half walls. Over here you can place a lot of furnaces. Now to go into here place another low one and two high ones and in here you can place another three furnaces. So altogether there are nine furnaces which is easily enough. Now place two low triangles on this side and on this side. Here later there will be some box storage. Now place another three triangles and the footprint is finished. Place a doorway and two wall frames with shop fronts in them over here to have a great view to see if there are door campers anywhere near. Of course surround the whole base with walls. Now for these parts you can place a lot of loot storage. I like to place two triangles as shelves over here and then you can fit a lot of large and small boxes just like this. And now just do the same thing on the other side. And of course, if you have the blueprint, then add on two garage doors. And not just over here, just place a lot of garage doors throughout the whole base. And if you want to, you can place another shelf over here. And you can of course add another two boxes. But I recommend placing the garage door first, as the boxes cannot be placed, uh, the garage door cannot be placed after the boxes are.
Now over here you have to place another garage door and now this part you can either just place a window with some shutters for some extra view but I actually like to place a doorway with a locker in front of it because that means that from this side you cannot see if you are a raider that there's a doorway behind it but if you are on raid defense and the raiders are in this hallway then you can just remove the locker and shoot them from here and that might even save your base in a raid now of course every free spot that you find just place garage doors because that just ups the raid cost by a whole lot Now I like to place a few small boxes over here as that as this makes the vision a whole lot better. And now your base is pretty much finished. One very important part is that you should upgrade the core to high quality metal and honeycomb the base. Now if you get these 9 furnaces to keep cooking then you should have a lot of metal. The, but And if you have then I recommend upgrading all of the base to sheet metal. And now the base is finished. If you have enjoyed the video then please consider subscribing because it really would mean a lot. But that's all for now. So see you next time.